What's up, water signs? What it do? Welcome back to Healing to Go to Row. Um, I'm finna see what's going on. Let's see. For the next 24 hours for y'all, what y'all need to know, some advice, what may be going on in the energy, whatever, whatever. We just gonna see what come out. And yeah, I don't really got no channel messages. Just wanna hop right on, do y'all a little 10, 12 minute video. Okay, I'm hearing divine being, okay? This may be somebody that's about to enter your life. I'm hearing something about a level up. It's like you're leveling up. Something about the initiation. I'm also seeing like a lot of high vibrational. These aren't um, like people. These are like energies. Like I'm seeing it like in a... It's like from a 5D point of view. I'm seeing like a lot of... I'm seeing like eight. Um, we just gonna call them angels for better lack of term. Okay, they all white. It's like these people are helping you. They keep people out of your way. They fighting battles that you don't even see. Yeah, you got sanctuary here. So something about taking care of your body or something about being a temple. I also see here that. And don't take this wrong, but it's just the energy that I'm picking up. This may be something that you're thinking, or this may be something that's actually true. It's like, don't judge a book by its cover. Somebody here may not look... Okay, how about this? Somebody here may not look to society standard terms of what beauty is, but it's like, they got a lot to offer here. They have a lot to offer. This may be a fire sign. You may be a... Oh, wait, yeah. This is a water sign energy. Sorry. <laughs> but I feel like this person here is very wise they are very like I'm seeing a lot of books this person may read a lot I'm also seeing something about feathers this could be you take the energy how it resonates if it ain't your story it just ain't for you okay 6 and 8 I don't know why I just reminded myself of the 8 of pentacles so it's like somebody here is doing a lot of working you could also be working at night or this could be like just you working on yourself working on your craft working on your money this could also be this person here Okay. This deck ain't really talking like that no more. You got compassion and letting go. So I feel like you're um like this compassion and letting go here. I feel like you're having um compassion with yourself. Letting go of things that no longer serve you. Like I said, blocking out all energies that is in the way of how you feel, what you thinking, like you got you got literally three eights here six and two is eight seven and one is eight if you take this one from this nine that's another eight so eight 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 infinity okay um i'm hearing something about freedom even though i just saw this card here i'm talking about like mental freedom letting go yeah you got letting go here like i'm just getting energy of like somebody here feels very peaceful it's like I'm hearing something about like blind to the bullshit or just focusing on your peace, focusing on being compassionate with yourself, not letting just any and everybody in your energy, letting go of toxic people, toxic ways, things that hold you back, that keep you in indecisive energy. Yeah, like I said, you got friendship here, but I feel like you're becoming your own friend. You're in sync with your own self. Like, Maybe you was the type of person that felt like you needed friends or you needed people around you to feel whole, but you realize that you actually feel way better by yourself. I could definitely be talking about somebody. Talking to someone who's single. Don't have to be. This may be an energy that you need to focus on as well. Yeah, you got surrender. Like I said, letting go. Everything that I'm talk about, just coming back out on the cards. I use the cards for clarification here. You could have been feeling very, um, like, having some type of grief. Or it's like, maybe this is the energy that people have around you because you, like, I'm hearing like you're transforming, okay? You got indecision and grief again. So I feel like you had a, you had a, a tough decision to make. You may have had to let go of people that, like, you loved. These could have been people you were friends with. These could have been people that you thought were your friends. These could have been people who, um... You just had tight-knit relationships with, like, I'm saying, you know how you got that cousin dynamic, but it's like you and your cousin really friends for real. You see what I'm saying? That type of energy. These could have also been, like, ways of thinking, people that you, like, really love, like your parents or something like that. 
but it's almost like you a wise gem or you're cut from a different fabric like i'm getting that energy like you could be like the black sheet somebody who's very different you could also be like the the the, the sibling in the family that you know got a different father or something like that i'm also getting to your parents weren't very compassionate with you give me one second sorry y'all but we're going to get back into this. Yeah, I feel like there's something you had to let go. Something you had to be courageous in order to find some sort of, like, in order to be successful at something. There's something you had to let go. You may have felt at first, like, regrets that you, you may have felt very codependent on these people. Or these could be people feeling very codependent on you. And they're feeling regretful now or feeling guilty about something. Or they could be, like, gaslighting you. Okay, I'm also hearing something about gang stalking. Look, and you got indecision again. Indecision again. Indecision again. I want to use these today. Yeah, setting healthy boundaries. This girl here, she in her own bubble. She focuses on her own self. She focuses on what she got to get done. She ain't playing no games. She also could be focusing on her bag right now. Yeah, willpower moving forward. I feel like something here is going to go fast for you or something is coming in fast for you or i'm hearing like you could have transformed very fast or i don't know you could be like a fast learner something about speed you could also have a fast car or you could talk really fast something about a two-on-one combo this could be like you eating at a restaurant or i'm hearing something about killing two birds with one stone yeah getting out of Look, this is too beautiful energy to start out with, especially with the Wheel of Fortune here. So, I'm getting two energies. First of all, I feel like you've came out of your head. Look, you got the Page of Cups in the uh, reverse. So, that just tells me, like, you could have been someone at one point in time daydream about a lot of things that just aren't realistic. You could have had to create your own, I want to say, illusion Cause I feel like that's exactly what it was, but you had, you could have been somebody that had to create your own, um, like imagination of what friendships or what relationships or what love is or what things feel like, but you quickly had like some sort of reality check or there's a need for this energy to be implemented. Okay. And then you got the magician here. So that's realizing, you know, you are the gift. That's realizing that you have everything you need. You don't really need anybody else. That's realizing that, you know, you are one with the universe. So as long as you have a relationship with God and as long as you have a relationship with you and as long as that you are in sync within yourself and your balance, things will turn into your favor. I definitely see you. Um... You could be thinking about love at this time. You could be feeling very lonely. I, I feel like I'm talking to somebody here who, who has been celibate or who has been alone, if not celibate, or just feeling very alone or feeling very abandoned. Or you could have even just abandoned the thought of love right now and you're kind of just focusing on what's best for you. You got the will of fortune here. This talks about karma, justice, and things turning around in your favor as well. I do see heavy manifesting here with this will. It's like you're turning your own will. It's like you're taking power. This person here, if you notice, this is like a galaxy or a universe, even though it looks like it's on the ground. It's almost like he's co-creating with the universe, but in, in his own universe. You see what I'm saying? I'm also hearing what which side of justice do you want to be on? So take that how I resonate. Yeah, you got the six of swords here. Divine guidance, walking away from things, walking from uh I'm hearing something about Ashy. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Who Ashy? <laughs> Me probably. <laughs> uh, I'm also getting here. Something that's very mysterious about you. I'm hearing like your strength comes from like it's like there's strength in mystery. I don't know where that's coming from. It's just something I just... But I'm hearing something about their strength and mystery. And you're a very mysterious person. And you come off very, very fucking strong. And I'm not saying that you aren't, but your aura is very big here. You could also be a very small person, but your aura is very big. Okay? Or you could just feel like a very small person, but you don't understand how big your energy is, how big your aura is. Keep in mind that people who are chosen and people who are meant to go through things to level up and get a certain, like, get to a certain place in their lives, you have to understand that you're going to go through a lot, okay? 
Don't think God forgot you just because you've been through a lot. Don't think you've forgotten just because, you know, you making this shit up in your mind for real. But I do see you very strong, very courageous, very feminine. I see this hermit card here. Again, look, they go to justice card. So balancing things out. That Virgo energy, that hermit energy, soul searching. Okay. I see a lot of growth here. I'm going to take one more card. And then we out, water signs. Just to let y'all know I love y'all. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you feel called to. But I got within a few days here. So something's about to happen for you in a few days. I, I'm hearing like, you could also be like, yeah, I'm hearing something about a wish fulfillment. Something is about to come through. This may be something you don't expect or something you expect but don't expect. You see what I'm saying? It could have been something you've been very anxious about. I'm also hearing like a phone call. I'm getting. Uh, I'm also seeing like emails from multiple accounts. You got universe, source, infinite, literally with the magician card here that talks about literally the universe. Scorpio energy, Gemini energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm hearing something about a Sagittarius. And then you got Dear John here. That talks about rejection. The truth, breaking up, setting boundaries, divorces, cutting cords, and it says something not working here. So I just feel like you, you, yeah, and then you got moving on, rest, relaxation. This is, these cards literally is coming out in the same exact way. I already told this story, but something is coming for you. Something here is coming fast. This could also be like a soulmate or energy of like a new lover or somebody who's willing to take you serious yeah you got changing at this time anything can happen so i'm here like expected unexpected all right i love y'all see y'all in the next video peace